Hello gorgeous. episode how are you doing welcome to stories of my life so i slept really late today i've been editing some videos i haven't started with sort of yesterday i sort of edited well just this one from when ulf and i went to erlang but just got a text i've got something waiting outside my door yeah outside my door oh. thank you Here's a little update. Uh, Martin texted me and said, do you want to come over tonight? And I said, yes, I will. And he said, I will be making something to eat. And I said, fine, I'll fix dessert and maybe a side salad. I have no idea what to bring. Hello and welcome to What's Cooking Good Looking? My name is Robert Dinero, and I'm here to teach you a thing or two about vegan cooking. Let's start it, shall we get on to with it? Today we are making Turkish lentil patties. Fascinating, isn't it? It's also called in the Turkish language merki mel mekli köfte. I think köfte is sort of pate. I'm not sure. Anyway, let's start. I said that right, didn't I? Yeah. Let's start. You start by pouring five deciliters of water into a great pan, and then you gather two deciliters of vegan. No, two deciliters of red lentils, like that. And then you first add electricity to this. When it's boiling, add this. And then you leave this to cook for 30 minutes. Yes, that's quite a lot of time, but they're supposed to be sort of obliterated, just turning into a mush. So this specific issue of Eagle Magazine, sometimes I can find mistakes in all the issues but uh, well in some but this is sort of I, I i'm going to contact them and see if they got some new fact check or something because this is supposed to be cooking for 30 minutes and this has cooked for a quarter of an hour and it's sort of like it's if that's supposed to cook i don't know what the measurements must be wrong either either it's um i i don't know i i just don't know yeah so anyway, if you got this magazine, I'm warning you don't do that. Uh, should I sort of continue trying to make it anyway? Yeah, I guess I shall. So I've written a very pointed message to the editor of the magazine on Instagram. And I told him that how can I sort of recommend this magazine when I can't even sort of, when I'm sort of growing, not really tired, but it's sort of like this kind of mistakes. And I looked up another mag, uh, another recipe and instead of boiling the lentils for 30 minutes, it says 20 minutes and it, saws, it doesn't say boil, it says simmer, which is a big difference because simmering is sort of like, yeah, so it's, We'll continue there. I'll start afresh. This is me being sort of irritated. So I let this simmer for 20 minutes. So it's half a litre of water and two deciliters of uh, red lentils. And I just let it simmer, not, not come to the boil, just simmer. And this looks so much better. Now you're supposed to beat it until it's sort of smooth. And then, well, I, I, I turn off the electricity and then you will add one deciliter of vegan, no, wait, one deciliter of bulgur and it's finely, uh, the fine 
sort of, it's not the course it's supposed to be. And this is not to be cooked. Oh look, this sort of turns into a mush quite easily. So you add one deciliter of fine bulgur and then you let this cool. This recipe also says that you add, you're supposed to add the salt now, but just say salt. So usually when you add salt in the middle of, middle of a recipe, there's some sort of measurement because you can't quite taste what it's supposed to, because I can't really, this is just mush and salt. But um, no, I don't know if the new book of Middle Eastern food by Claudia Rodin is sort of this vague or if there's some translation that gone wrong, I don't know. But I will be adding half a teaspoon of salt then. While you're letting this sort of clump turn cold, you add three tablespoons of olive oil to a pan. And when that gets hot, as you can see it is now, you add one finely chopped onion three garlic cloves or something like that. The object here is to get the onions to turn really limp because since you are putting, you're mixing this with this, you don't want any sort of pieces standing out. It's supposed to go almost mushy. And when it's almost there, you add two teaspoons of Aleppo pepper, which is a milder, more sort of smoky pepper. One teaspoon. Two teaspoons. And then you add two tablespoons of tomato puree. And the recipe said that it, the, the best way, what possible, wait, I'm looking for a word here. I can't find it, wait. I can't find the word <laughs> either in Swedish or English, but the word I was looking for is the sort of the best, the best of all words. In the best possible world, you would have one, tablespoon of tomato puree and one tablespoon of bell pepper puree but I don't have it so two tablespoons of tomato puree and then as a hack you add one tablespoon of this which is smoked paprika. This turned out I thought it would be sort of more liquidy because it needs to be mixed with this and this is really sort of dry it's almost you know crumbly you add half a teaspoon of cumin and then you add this to this oh my god well it came together quite nicely all you have to do now is add well put it on off the heat and add one deciliter of finely chopped parsley here we go just had a taste test and i'm adding a whole teaspoon of salt because it didn't taste like anything now this needs to get lukewarm because Gonna put it in salad and eat it like that. Okay, so I need to show you how this works. I've got this piece of lettuce here and I need an ice cream, ice cream scoop. And I got it. And what I do is I take one, maybe two, yes, two. And then I'm gonna turn this into a little packet and then I eat it. So let's see how it goes. Bon appetitio. Bon. Mm. Mm. Actually, it tastes kind of good. I might be doing this again, but doing it the right way. Mm. That smoky paprika is really coming through. Mm. Mm. Anyway. New to dash of Reviario. You know something? I would have loved to really hate this, but it is really good. Damn. I'm about 10 minutes early. Should I go in or should I just stand outside? Oh, he's there looking for me. Looking weird, looking out. Did he see me? Maybe not. So I think it's almost more rude to come earlier than come late, but uh, yeah, I am. Um, I'm coming in. What's his name? So it took me almost two minutes to navigate this thing, so I'm not that early anymore. Damn. I called one of his neighbors, we called Linnea, but she answered. 
This is the weirdest stone ever. It's sort of pink. Sort of dirty pink. Hello, gorgeous. We'll be drinking cover tonight. That's a gift from me to you. A happy dog? Should we drink it tonight? Yes. Because I have uh, oh. different kinds of things. Yeah, oh god, this, oh god. But not uh, because I don't have any room in the fridge, so... Yeah? You don't have room in the fridge? Freezer? Freezer. Yeah. Look at this. Fantastic. And leave a bread and we will For have Italy, some... Italy, Italy. <gasps> Grillo? Um, what, what is it? Olives. Oh! 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 I have been to Italy. You've been to Italy? No one have, uh, don't have heard about it. I've no. been to Italy. Yes. Well, I've been to Italy. Yeah. How was this Italy? I was there with my uh, love in my life. Your parents? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was nice. Yeah? yeah? But you hooked up with someone, didn't you? Um, maybe. <laughs> Jocke. And I don't mean your parents. No, no I don't but, mean no. your parents. Okay, so now we have some bubbles. Yeah, let's change it's a, the subject. It's a typical Ooh. Tuesday evening. Yes. And bubbles. Bubbles, and also Martin has been cooking this. He crowded the pan, so they sort of yeah. stuck together. But he's A it's for different. effort. Yes, it's... Uh, this is so nice. This is... We have some chips, and we oh. have crisps, and oh. we have some popcorn, and you have some there. Yeah, this is going to be a hell of a night. Happy job. You. Hopla! Oh, nothing happened. Good, because I mean, that have been sort of bumping around in my basket. On my... Oh, lovely. I know. So, that was your one. Thank you. What have happened to Jamie Cullum? He didn't listen to you. Mm, good. What happened to Jamie Cullum? We've Jamie Cullum. This is. He's singing. Yeah, but what happened to him? He's, he, I don't know. He's doing nothing now, right? Can Google? Yeah, Google him. I will now be eating a proper Italian. Mmm, olive. Mmm. They are small but mm. tasty. <laughs> they are small but tasty. Talking about bowls. Time to fill the liver bread. I got up at 11 this morning. When did you get up? 7 o'clock. Did you have to get up at 7? Yes, because my work starts with 8.30. Oh my god. I have a Monday to Friday work. You recently came home from Milano. Yes. And I asked him, how was it? And then they said, you shouldn't have asked, because now he's forcing me to look at it on television. He's my parents. Oh! oh. So in a glass you put vegan ice cream and then you sort of really kill a lot of digestive cookies that sort of like they're supposed to turn almost sand like. So you have ice cream that's sandy digestive and a, a strawberry jam and, and one more. One more. Okay. So and this one. Yes. So. And more digestive. Top it off. Ice cream and strawberry. Fabulous. Fabulous. If you were a song right now, what song would that be? Ice cream for the people. Cream for the people. It's ice. It's ice is cold. Time to go home. Yes. What have I taught you today? What What have about you... About Dusty Springfield. Yeah, you didn't know about her, did you? Yeah, of course, but uh, I don't know her history. Uh, you so didn't... now we look at the telly yeah. to see uh, more about Dusty Springfield. About yes. this collaboration with Pet Shop Boys and yes. blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Are you yeah. pretending that you know a lot about Dusty Springfield now? I don't know a lot of things about her, no. but I know her name and so on. Yeah, and so on what? 
Yeah, yeah, but uh, <laughs> about uh, yeah, about the songs and everything. Can you sing one better? of us? Can you sing one of his songs? What the wind? Um, Think one feeling. <laughs> Turns out it's raining, cats and doggesses. So someone offered to lend me, or did you just give it to me? Maybe no lend. Oh, lend. Uh, because it's very expensive. Yes. It's from Aspuden. Yes. It's a, a, a rain poncho, so I'm gonna. No, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> like oh. so. There, va. There's a bit. Yes. So, there's a bit. So. It's me. Oh, we need to take a picture. Wait. Time to say goodbye. I have a fantastic evening. I really love these uh, sort of dinner. spontaneous yes. things. Yes, combustions very that we have. Yes, yes, you are. Thank you so much. And uh, God bless. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. I realise what I'm wearing right now is just a plastic. Oh. I'm wearing a back to front. Because <clears throat> I, was, I was sort of searching for a hood. But um, yeah, I will be going home with a hood back to front. Information. It's almost like I'm flying, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I'm a flying hunchback. Thank you for watching and for liking, commenting, subscribing and following. It really helps and uh, something to do with the internet and the algorithm, I think. So thank you so much.